Hello kids, welcome back. We're studying about maple syrup and especially how maple syrup is made. Remember our story, we have our family that goes to Canada at the end of winter to see how maple syrup is made and they also get to taste it, right? So let's read, let's continue here. The children taste the sap. Remember the sap is the juice from the trees. They taste it from the bucket. Remember the sap comes out of the tree, it goes into the bucket. Then they taste the sap after it boils. So it's like a, they're comparing. It tastes different from the tree, then after it boils it tastes different there too. Think about that. Drinking the sap, they taste it. They don't drink it, they just taste it just a little bit. They taste it from the tree. How do you think that tastes? Do you think it tastes sweet? Do you think it's good? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think the sap from the tree tastes good. But after it boils, it changes taste. Remember over here, we said it gets sweeter. It gets sweeter. So after it boils, it gets sweeter. So it probably tastes better after it boils. And we can see one of the daughters has just taken some uh, uh, syrup. She probably tasted it after it boiled and it's pretty good, right? Now remember when I was talking about boiling. Boiling. When you boil water, if you boil water for a long time, what happens? All the water goes away. So when you boil something, the amount of liquid gets smaller. So here we have an interesting fact. Did you know? Did you know it takes about 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup? So think about that. Probably gallons don't mean much to you. But think of a gallon. A gallon is about, it's a, a, a little more than, well, it's, it's a little less than, sorry, it's a little less than four liters. Four liters of water. Four liters, right? I'll put it, I'll write it out. Liters, four liters. About equal, about, you know, about equal. <laughs> One gallon. And I'll just put G A, I'll just put G. One gallon. So four liters. If you think four uh, bottles of water that you get at the supermarket, right? If it's one liter bottle. Four of those is one gallon. Forty gallons, they boil forty gallons of tree sap to get only one gallon of syrup. That's a lot of sap. That means you need a lot of sap. You need many, many, many buckets of sap just to make one gallon of syrup, four liters of syrup. Wow, that's a lot of sap, right? So you think about it, it boils, and as something boils, it gets smaller and smaller, but it also becomes thicker. If there's something inside it, it's not just water. All the solid parts of the sap, they don't, they don't go away. They get smaller and smaller in that uh, liquid, and they get uh, more and more. They get thicker and thicker, and that's why syrup is thick. But at the same time, it also gets sweet and it's delicious afterwards, okay? So, it's time to eat the syrup, right? It's time to have fun and make some interesting things with the syrup because you've boiled it down, now you've got a sweet mixture, you have a sweet syrup left. What can we do with it? Well, at the end of the day, everyone has supper. So the family who went to the uh, uh, maple farm and the sugar makers, they all get together and they have supper. There are pancakes. Pancakes for supper? Sure, why not? Usually we think about pancakes for breakfast, but it, why not eat pancakes for supper? Why not? It's, it's not a bad habit. It's not a bad uh, thing to do. So they have pancakes at supper. They also have beans, eggs, and ham. Really sounds like breakfast, right? Especially eggs and ham are usually eaten for breakfast. Many Americans eat eggs and ham for breakfast and of course pancakes, but they're having it for supper, right? Why not? They're also having beans. Best of all, 
the best thing, the greatest thing is there is plenty of maple syrup. Of course, they have lots and lots of maple syrup to put on the pancakes. So what can they use syrup for, right? They have pancakes with maple syrup. Wow, this is a tall stack of pancakes. When you have pancakes like that, we call it a stack. Stack, S-T-A-C-K, a stack of pancakes. Sometimes we can have a short stack or you can have a tall stack. And this is a tall stack of pancakes. Can you eat that many pancakes? That's a lot of pancakes, right? But you pour syrup over them to make them sweeter. Okay, you also have some butter. This is butter. But what else can you use maple syrup for? Most people use it on their pancakes, but did you know you can also make fudge from maple syrup? And this is fudge. It's like a candy. It's soft. Think of, you may have had a brownie before. A brownie is like a very thick cake. And fudge is even thicker than a brownie. And it's very sweet. And you can make chocolate fudge, but you can also make maple fudge. And it tastes like maple syrup, but it's very thick and it's very sweet. Don't eat too much. You'll get sick. It's too sweet, but it's very good. It's mushy soil. And you can also make maple muffins. You know muffin, right? Muffin is like a little cupcake or a little cake, right? But you can make maple muffins. It tastes, you use maple syrup to make the muffins. It tastes like maple syrup. Did you know Maple syrup is used in many recipes to make sweet treats. These are just two examples, maple fudge and maple muffins. And you see her, she's having supper, she's having dinner, and this is her dinner. She has beans, she has uh, bread, maybe it's maple bread, and she has something over here, I'm not sure what that is, but she's pouring maple syrup onto it. And that looks like an interesting dinner, right? Okay, so that's a very good way to have dinner. It's a time to eat uh, the maple syrup that they made. And of course, maple syrup is made for many different reasons. Okay, let's finish up with the glossary. Let's review the words that we learned as we read this book. The first word, in fact, it was in the title. The first word that we saw was harvest. Harvest, remember, means to collect a crop. It's when farmers go into the field and they get the food from the plants. They're collecting a crop. A crop is a type of food. Remember I gave you the examples, rice or corn. Rice is a crop. Corn is a crop. Maple sap, syrup, is a crop. Okay, anything that farmers grow is a crop and harvest time at harvest time they go and they get it they collect it sap remember sap is the sticky liquid inside tree trunks and branches in fact most plants if you if you break the plant or you cut the plant you will see some type of liquid inside and that's sap okay it's sticky it means it sticks together and it's inside the tree trunks, but it's also in the tree branches, okay? A sugar house, sounds sweet, sounds great, but remember, sugar house is just a building where maple sap is boiled. It's like a factory, but it's just a special factory for maple, uh, sugar, sugar maple sap. They take the sap, and remember, it takes a lot of sap to make just a little bit of syrup. So they have to boil it down. It takes a long time, but when they boil it down, they have a little bit of syrup left. And they do that where? In the sugar house. Who does that? Who is the expert that, oh, that does this and sees everything and knows how to uh, boil and knows when to start, knows the temperature, knows when to stop? Who is that person? That person is the sugar maker. These are the person who collects maple sap and makes syrup. Do you remember who were the first sugar makers? Do you remember? That's right, Native Americans. Native Americans knew their land very well and they found out how to make sweet syrup from maple trees. Okay, finally we have syrup and we know that word. We've used it many times before already. Syrup is a golden sweet 
liquid made from sugar maple tree sap. Sugar maple tree sap. So remember, this is like this is the noun. These are the adjectives. Sugar maple tree, and this is also a noun now because it's sugar maple tree sap. So this becomes our new noun, and these are all adjectives. Sugar maple tree sap. What kind of sap? Sugar maple tree sap. Okay, that's a lot of the a lot of adjectives. We put them all together in front of the noun. But anyway, we know syrup. Syrup is golden. It has a gold color.、Uh, you, if you look at it, especially in light, when it's very uh, uh, light be, behind it, it looks golden and it looks brown too.、Um, it's depending on the type of syrup, but it's very sweet. And remember, it's also sticky. And it's very good on pancakes. Okay, so this lesson was very interesting. Now you know where the syrup comes from that you pour on your pancakes to have breakfast. And remember, it's not just for breakfast. You can also have it for supper. Okay, well, if you're like me, you're getting hungry for some maple syrup and pancakes. I think I'm going to go home now and have some. I hope you do too. Well, you're probably already at home. Maybe you can ask your mom to make pancakes and maple syrup. Maybe, but anyway, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. I hope you've learned a lot. Goodbye.